Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Urvashi and in today's video I'm going to talk about how to present your UX case study to your interviewer, to your team or your stakeholder. So I will list down some of the key steps that you can follow while presenting your UX case study. So without any further delay, let's get started. I'm going to keep all the nine steps easy and simple to understand for you and also if you want you can add your steps to these nine steps and present your ux case study to your interviewer so first of all i'm going to talk about what is the purpose of presenting the ux case study so the purpose of presenting the ux case study is to demonstrate your ability to communicate your ideas process and how you approach the given problem statement clearly and concisely to your employer now i'm going to explain all the steps that you can follow while presenting your ux case study to the interviewer so first one is start by introducing yourself and give an overview of the project so when you are starting your presentation introduce yourself like your role and other things then give an overview of your project and how you will structure the presentation and remember you do not have to go in detail in this step just give an overview and introduce yourself second step is talk about your role in the project to the recruiter so in this step you have to explain your role in the project you have to be very specific while explaining your role in the project like you did interaction design for the project UI design for the project or you have taken care of whole UX part of that particular project so be specific while explaining your role to the recruiter now the third step is explain the main problem statement now it's time to reveal your main problem statement that will tie your entire design story together problem statement can be related to the business issue user pain or your own personal experience that you want to solve with your design then in this step explain the important aspects all the important aspects of the problem statement now fourth step is explain your design process now it's time to explain all the steps that you have followed in the design process and remember you do not have to go in detail and over explain the things to the interviewer because your interviewer knows all the basics already so just outline all the design steps you have followed in the project now the next step is mention ux methods in this step you will list down all the ux method that you have followed and how each method influence your design UX method can include empathy maps, user personas, card sorting and also share what you have learned about your target audience like their needs, what are their pain points, what are their feelings and other things. Now, the sixth step is show your solution. In this step, you would talk about the solutions by reflecting back to the problem statement that you have introduced at the very beginning also describes uh, all the solution you have considered and its advantage disadvantages and why you choose any one of them now seventh step is outline your major design decision in this step you will be talking about one major design decision that played an important role in solving the problem statement you can explain how impactful that solution was in solving that issue or a problem now the eighth step is share the results after explaining your major design decision now it's time to reveal your results you can share your results in the form of final screens prototypes or any other things you want to show now the final step is sharing your learnings after finishing your ux presentation now you can share your learnings with your interviewer throughout the project you can take any statement and uh, how and explain how it changed at the end like you used to do something 
in that way but after completing the project you have changed your perception and you started doing it in another way because of that reason okay all right then so that's all for today i hope you all guys enjoyed this video and if you did then do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and do not forget to follow me on instagram link is in the description and if is there any doubt regarding any step then do let me know in the comment section and i will see you all next time bye bye